Hello Sagittarius and welcome to Soul Sundays. Sagittarius, um, firstly, I want to give a massive shout out to all of the legends who have stuck with this channel for the last five months whilst I took a little bit of a, um, a break. It's been an interesting journey and I can't wait to share it with you guys. I'm going to do a video update later in the week um, and just share some of the spiritual stuff that's happened, some of the cool experiences. Um, but for now, I wanted to do a quick update for your sign, a mind, body, soul reading. One card for mind, one for body, one for soul. So let's get started. Universe and angels, messages and guides, my higher self, I call upon you now to give me clear and accurate reading for the sign of Sagittarius. Please show me what they need to hear, not what they want to hear. Can I please have one card for their mindset, for their week ahead? What is the most important message they need to understand about their thoughts and their mindset for this week? I want that one that hasn't turned over. Ace of Angels, Wisdom, nice card. Um, Sagittarius, we have a new moon in the sign of Libra at the end of the week. The new moon in Libra is all about love. Love is in the air um, and it's about finding balance again. Um, <coughs> forgive me, I'm still recovering from having pneumonia, so my voice is a little bit croaky. But for you, um, the big thing this week is about finding balance. Um, when it comes to love and putting yourself back out in the market, it's been quite a interesting year for you lots of doors that have opened and if you've done the work then you should have had a lot of opportunity at your doorstep having Jupiter in your sign um, for some of you depending on what deacon you are um, that means which part of the cycle of Sagittarius you're born in um, you're just coming into that part now okay can I have one card please for their physical health this week what's the most important message <clears throat> Um, but this is a really lovely card. It um, speaks about um, new beginnings, new beginnings in your thought process. And even though this is a spiritual reading, it's new beginning in love. Okay, um, you've drawn the card of organic foods for your diet. So I think your diet is something that you need to kind of check. Have you been eating a little bit stodge, maybe too much takeaway, <laughs> um, tin spaghetti on toast, that kind of thing. It's time to really have a look at your diet here, but I'll get into that more in a bit. One card, please, for the soul message for the rest of the week. Really beautiful um, reading. You've got a lot of angelic guidance around you, whatever your belief is in the spiritual realm, whatever you want to call it. But um, you have a lot of guidance from people that have passed over, a lot of energy that's around you this week, Sagittarius. One card, please, for the spiritual message. Thank you so much. Okay, beautiful. Right, so let's get stuck into it. Ace of Angels. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Just the ace for you, baby. <laughs> um... Beautiful card, look at it. So we have a new moon in the sign of Libra on the 28th or 29th, depending on where you're located in the world. Um, and it is, Libra is a sign of swords, mental thought. So you've picked up the Ace of Swords, which is like the trump card for Libra for this week ahead. And this new moon is all about love, okay? And this card is about clear thought, understanding uh, where you're going and what you want, right? And it says, love and wisdom rain down upon you, bringing new ways to consider, perceive and create your life. The ace of angels opens your mind to new ideas and innovations. There are many truths and each is as valid as the next. You are coming to a deeper truth and seeing a situation with fresh clarity. This card may indicate a new course of study or mental challenge that will push you to draw solutions from a broader perspective. You are ready to cut through a belief that no longer works for you. Combine intellect with your wisdom and all will be a breeze. The slipstream of an angel's thoughts ready to hear ideas that resonate with your truth. Get ready for all that is coming by realizing it is never good or bad, it just is. Now that's quite deep, um, but what it basically means is new ideas, um, new beliefs, new sparks of illumination are going to come to you this week, okay? Um, you've got beautiful, beautiful energy to create um, and innovate a new um, a path for yourself. The hearts in this card motivate us to use the power of thoughts for loving change, for change within yourself. Um, it's a really beautiful turning point for you, okay? And what helps with that? Well, eating well, of course. <laughs> um, organic foods. Now look, if you're anything like me, you balk at the idea of how expensive organic food is, but it's really good for your body. Um, this week, even if you can't eat organic, even though that's what the card is telling you, 
try and have a look at your diet and what you're putting into your body, okay? I think um, often when we're feeling in a low vibration or feeling like lack or loss or despair, we tend to eat pretty poorly. Um, this is asking you to look at the vitamins, the minerals you're putting in your body, um, maybe try and eat a more plant-rich diet. Um, whatever you put into your body is going to affect your mental health, okay? What's interesting is your spiritual message for this week is listen. And it's depicted here um, as quite what I would say like an autumn card or a fall card. For those um, in the Northern Hemisphere, we've just gone through the equinox, so you're coming into fall. For us in the Southern Hemisphere, we're coming into spring. So it's a big shift in energy. It's a big change. Um, and with that comes the clarity that you've got here. Um, food is different. You're eating different kinds of food, different kinds of foods in season. But it's also asking you to really tune into um, yourself and others around you by listening clearly. Um, from a spiritual point of view, this speaks about um, trusting your intuition a little bit, right? Um, listening before, before perceiving, before sight. Um, understanding that everything is vibrating, it's all coming through creation. So you can talk yourself in circles, but you know sometimes you're not heard. And at other times you can be heard without even uttering a word. The card of this is putting the onus on the listener. It's showing you that you have the choice to actually actively listen to someone. Love, care and consideration are all expressed by an attentive ear when you actively listen and give someone your heart. Uh, sound is wasted on those that won't hear. So it's talking to you about saving your voice this week. Maybe it's not the week to talk, communicate. Um, and, and you might actually learn more by just listening to others, taking it all in. There's a truth that needs to be heard. And if you can open your heart uh, and close your, your voice for a little while and just listen, I think you might learn some things. Interesting week for you, Sagittarius. Beautiful light coming in. You are absolutely guided spiritually. I wish you much love and light. Take care.